Hello everyone, you're here with Caitlin from Banker Inc. Today we're going to be talking about how to reconcile a bank account in Sage 100 Contractor. So let's first log into our company. We're going to be operating in a sample company today. And then we'll navigate under the General Ledger tab and Bank Reconciliation, so 1-5 on our menu, to pull up our bank rec. Here we're going to choose our account number. Um, for today, I'll just be doing our general checking account since that's the common account that I post a lot of transactions to. And here you have the option of putting on a cutoff date. For this example, I'm going to leave it off. I haven't done a lot of transactions um, prior to this month in the general checking, but it'll always populate with your account number, your current balance. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I am in the hole for 925 bucks, but um, here we can just display the items that got us to that balance. The good thing about the bank rec in 100 Contractor is that you can drill down or go to that transaction if something is looking a little off. Um, you also have the option to sort them by date, by amount, and by transaction number. I just do by transaction number um, because usually that'll correspond with the date if you go in numerical order. Depending on how you listed your transaction, if it's an adjustment, a deposit, or a check, um, that'll be what the category that it's under. That looks like I've done a lot more transactions than I thought. Um, so first, let's say that this one, if my startup balances were incorrect, um, I can click on this, click on the record number, and go to transaction. That's gonna immediately pull up that transaction uh, that we've started on here. So, from here, I can edit this. So if this was not my general checking starting balance, um, what I can do, let's just say we need to make this 45,000. What you're gonna wanna do is override that. And here you'll double click it and edit that amount from there. Or you can make a new journal transaction for that in the current period. But my April is locked, so my period four is locked, so I cannot change this. From there, you can click Save. It'll update that new record. And this will pre-populate once you run a new bank reconciliation. But this is a good way to go ahead and drill down into that record that maybe doesn't look that correct to you and go straight to the journal transaction that corresponds with it. From here, you also have the option to add checks or charges or add deposits and interest. This will also give you a subtotal of how many, dis uh, how many deposits you have and how many checks you have that are displayed in this record. Of course, it will give you the total for that and the total for the checks, and then you will come up with your current balance. You have the option to print your bank reconciliation on a standard report that's already generated for you. So it'll just print out on a normal sheet of paper um, all of the transactions that occurred uh, for the time parameters you gave it or you granted it. You can save that, send it to Excel, Word, or make it a PDF, or even email it as an attachment. From there, if you wanna save this, so if you want to do this every month, you have the option to save this record or this bank reconciliation and here it'll pull up your previous bank recs. I uh, don't have any saved at the current moment, but it'll save all of the parameters that you granted it when you ran that bank rec. So you can either hit file save there or hit this purple button on the right hand side, pull up your previous bank reconciliations, and then you can go, this is the other option to go to the transaction from that. And there you have it. If there's any questions you have about bank recs or something doesn't look right, give me a call, shoot me an email at coordinator at bankerinc.com and we can always jump on a call. If you found this video helpful or wanna learn more, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'll be uploading more content related to this moving forward. Thanks guys, talk soon.